All right, folks, um, week three of distance learning, it looks like. Um, hopefully we're doing all right with that. I'm going to be checking a little bit more closely this week to everybody's assignments that they've handed in. Um, this week, a little bit different, um, but uh, ultimately I'm trying to keep it very, very easily paced for you so you have the whole week to do this, okay? So here's the deal. Um, we're going to discuss climate change this week. I'm not going to lecture on it because I'm assuming that you've had a bunch of stuff. If you haven't, here's a one-minute overview of climate change right here on the written instructions. Um, but basically, we're going to be diving into um, the the skeptics of climate change. So here's what you're going to do. And I've got all this stuff written down here, and it'll be written down. You know, it'll be a, a file that you can open as well. But I need to look at things to kind of understand them a little bit better. So here's what you're going to do. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up, and again, all the directions are down here. They're listed out. Um, so you're going to go to a random number generator. Just type that into Google. Uh, set your min to uh, 1 and your max to, I believe it's 198. Yep. So 198. And then you're going to click generate. You're going to get a number. Um, like this one is 36. Um, you're going to do that two more times. So you got 36, 131, and 7. I'm going to write those down. 131 and 7. Okay. Um, and so then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the directions here. And there's a link called Skeptical Science. Um, that looks like this. And that link is going to talk about climate change myths and then kind of debunk them with the science, what the science actually says. So uh, use your three randomly generated numbers and uh, find out what they are. What are the myths here? So like uh, 36 was our first one here. Uh, water vapor, vapor is the most powerful greenhouse gas. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this link in the middle here. And then most importantly here, there's a little tabs up above, basic and intermediate. We're going to choose the intermediate route because that's going to give you a little bit more science, a little bit more data to look at. So you're going to write in your own Google Doc. Um, you're going to open your own Google Doc, and you're going to do a couple of different things. And again, this is in the instructions, so if you don't catch it, just read it in the instructions. But um, here's what you do. You write down a summary of the stuff in this red shaded box here. It's a climate myth, okay? So you'd kind of read through this and figure out like, okay, so what does that mean? What, what would somebody argue if they were a skeptic of climate change? Um, this would be their argument, okay? So kind of summarize that argument in a sentence or two. And then what you're going to do is you are going to choose two to three facts um, listed down below. And these are all well cited. There's good citations to them if you want to look into them a little bit deeper. Um, there might be a little video that you want to watch, etc. Some of these have just very straightforward information. Some of them have graphs. Some of them have tables and things like that. Um, so ultimately, choose two to three things there uh, that stood out to you that was a good rebuttal. That was something that was scientific data that showed this argument or this myth here is incorrect. Um, so... You're going to do that with each one of your three randomly generated numbers, okay? So you're going to do this three different times. So like this was number 36. That was my first number that I generated. Again, I'd summarize this piece. Then I'd choose a couple of things in here that I thought like, oh, that's a that's a good argument against that. That's good. Um, I'm also offering, there may be some flaws in this thinking too. There may be some stuff here where you go, well, that doesn't really take into effect this or this. Please be critical of the science as well. That's what we need to advance science, okay? Um, so look at those flaws as well. I don't want to say, like, this is the absolute, um, you know, unmitigated fact of all of this. But I do want to say it's science, and this is the data that we have available. Um, so you're going to repeat this a number of times. Um, you're going to repeat this with the other two generated numbers. So here's those two threat scientific facts, point out flaws, Repeat uh, A through D for the total of the three evaluations. So you're going to do that three times on your own Google Doc. Okay. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to submit that to the assignment folder. That'll be your assignment for the week. Um, so look into those things pretty closely and, um, and, and review them as best you can. Um, and then also you need to post um, your favorite one, one that you chose that you're like, oh, this one was really kind of interesting. There was a lot of really good data here. I kind of found this pretty interesting. My hope is by the end of this, we have 30 arguments or so um, that are scientifically based that are rebutting um, climate change deniers. Okay. Um, please let me know if this is if this is working for you guys. Um, I haven't gotten a whole ton of feedback other from the other than the people that joined me on Fridays, and it'll be open again this Friday. Um, 
but I, I sure would love to hear some feedback from you. If, if this is going okay for you, if this is something that's like, yep, you're making it manageable and I'm not stressed out with it and I'm still learning stuff, then that's what my goal is. Um, if you're feeling like, nope, it's way too easy and I'm just blowing it off and I'm not doing it, please let me know. If you think it's way too much time, if it's taking too much time and it's really stressing you out, please let me know that. So I'm looking for some constructive criticism here and I'm also looking for some feedback, um, positive or negative, either way, because um, it's kind of hard to get a feel for this. So I'm doing the best I can. Um, I'm certainly willing to take your advice into play here as we move forward. So that's it for the week. That's, uh, that's what you need to do. Um, so hopefully that gives you a, a clear goal of, of how to accomplish this week. Thanks.